Hi everybody, welcome back and in this video I'd like to talk about charging system. I want to explain to you guys how you can find out what happened to your bike because all of a sudden it's not charging. So let's say you, you got a new battery because you thought your battery was bad. A few days later it's dead again so now you know okay something's going on with my bike. So before I go to a couple of these bikes I got in here to show you how to do your diagnosis on the bike, I want to explain to you what these parts look like and this way you understand a little bit what's happening in your bike. So every bike is the same, it doesn't matter if you have a Harley or a Japanese bike or Triumph or whatever. So inside the engine you have a magnets rotor. This is always attached to the engine and it spins, you know, when the engine is running, it's creating the magnetic field around your stator. The stator is what creates the AC electricity. AC means alternate current. That means it's it's very big curve. It's it's going from maybe 10 volts to 60 volts, which would blow everything up in your bike if you just blew, put 60 volts right into your battery. But it creates this crazy big current and it, that sends it to your regulator and the regulator brings it from the AC, the alternate current to the DC which kind of makes the curve real small and it doesn't go over certain voltage. So sometimes there could be bikes that are overcharging which would also be a bad regulator which means that the regulator doesn't stop it it lets it go further so I've seen bikes over the years that would blew every light bulb and everything, it could even blow the CDI because it, you know we rev it up and it goes to 20 volts and it blows everything up. So now to diagnose your problem you're gonna need multimeter. It doesn't matter if it's a fancy one, cheap one, you can get one in Harbor Freight for a couple of dollars or you can get a better one, any other parts store anywhere but you need this. In this multimeter there's only two things that we're going to be using. It's the AC and the DC voltage. If, <coughs> like on this one, it's not marked AC and DC. The DC has like a straight line. It says volts and straight line and the, and the AC has a volts and it has like a curve. So what we're going to do basically to find out what went wrong with your bike is we're going to test the stator, if the stator is making electricity. Because Really to diagnose the regulator, it's difficult, everyone's a little bit different, you gotta have the book to know exactly the homage. It's not worth the trouble. You can go the other way around, so you, you go to the source. If your stator is making power, then your regulator is bad. So now the stator has three wires. This is some aftermarket stator probably because they're white, but on the on a stock bike, most of the times, as they could be white, I guess, but they almost always yellow. It's three yellow wires. It's always three wires. On, on a Harley, it's two wires. But regardless, what comes out of the stator is what you're looking for. So when we get to the bike again, I'm going to show you how to find this connector. And when you get to the bike, you're going to unplug that connector and you're going to get your your uh, multimeter set it up on that DC volt uh, I'm sorry AC voltage the alternate current the one that has the, the the wave and then you start the bike when the bike is running you're going to put your leads between these these three wires you're not going to put it against let's say the wire and the ground. No, you're only checking the wires between each other. So this one with this one, this one with this one, and then this one with, with this one. So you get all three combinations and every time you plug it in you're gonna rev the bike up, not like vroom, you're gonna, you're gonna hold it up, let's say halfway up, and you're gonna be checking here what is it showing? If, if it's going to be showing like let's say you're starting at 8 volts and you rev it up and it's going to 50 or 60 or 45 or whatever 
every bike might be different it depends on the size of the you know as you see they're all different bigger one smaller one and what I'm looking for is that the stator is creating electricity so if if you test these three leads and every time you put the, the two wires together you know you know you put these leads on the two wires like like so you might need a help or somebody will hold it and then rev up the bike and watch your meter and it goes up to 50 volts and then you check every one and, it, and it's going to go to the it's got to go to the same uh, uh, pr pr pretty much the same amount of volts then you know your stator and your rotor is good the rotor never goes bad unless you have an older Harley uh, that I know of though maybe there's some other bikes where they had the magnets glued on and they would come loose and they just shred everything up so once you know your stator is working then boom you know your problem is with the regulator and that's it you don't have to test anything else this is making electricity and this is not doing anything because between here and your battery it's only wiring harness so that takes me to the second point I wanted to make a lot of times on the older bikes this plug right here gets completely fried because there's a lot of heat that that passes through and uh, you know over over time they get they get you know dirty and oily and creates a bad connection and it just burns up so before let's say you find your 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 stator is making power and this is all burned up you can cut the two wires hook them up together straight just to test it out and then you test your then you test your battery if if it's still not charging then get yourself another regulator the regulator they look different like here is one there's one with really long wire short wire on the bike i'll show you how you locate these things on the harley again it's different it's got only two wires but the same thing applies on the harley you're going to unplug the, the this one is missing the plug because it's a brand new one you you know you use your old plug but again you just you just put the the leads between these two and rev the bike up if it's making you know 50 volts or whatever your stator is good you know everything works so just get yourself a regulator and uh, I think that that covers pretty much uh, the basics so so you understand that your motorcycle it's not like a car where everything is in one unit you got the stator rotor and regulator as simple as that so let's get to the bike and I'm going to show you how to find these places on the bikes to test I got three bikes I can show you um, to how to look for your wiring and they unfortunately all dead in the water so I can't really start them but um, here's a Honda Shadow 1100 um, so the stator is over here like I told you it's always on the left side this one is a round cover this this is just the cover that comes off there is a wire wiring that comes out of this cover so it, you know if you don't know your bike it, you would take this cover off and then follow the wires I know the shadow so I know the shadows have everything under the seat so the wire would go all the way from here and it's actually these wires right here but you know like I said if you don't know your bike Worst case scenario, you're going to have to uh, undo this cover or whatever cover you got on your bike and just follow the lead from this place, which is the stator. The three yellow wires I was telling you about. So you would unplug this connector right here. Then you got to determine which side it goes to the wiring harness and which side goes from your stator. You inspect the plug so for not being like all fried and burned this one this one looks okay the wires are nice and shiny and then you would put your multimeter as i was telling you about you would put it right here on on this setting um and then uh, you would start the bike and and test each one of these leads in in between so um you know, like I told you, you you would you would test uh, you know this one with this one, then this one with with this one, and this one with this one. When you rev it up, it'll go 
or don't go up to the 50 volts if it's not making the voltage you know your stator is bad it's burned so you need to get the stator you're gonna need to get the the gasket that goes around the cover your stator and most likely the regulator when the stator is bad I always change both just to make sure on this one the regulator is located right down here it's kind of like here's the battery uh, and you go straight down and it's located right there okay next one is right here on the lift uh, this is uh, Kawasaki ZR7 and uh, on this bike the stator again left side you would follow the wires on this bike the wires go you know you might if you don't know the bike or you don't know what you're looking for see these plugs always look the same you would put um, again like I told you the lead boom 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 and determine if your if your stator is putting out voltage on this bike it's unusual the regulator is located under the tank it's kind of really bad spot in my opinion because uh, they get very hot and that's why they have these fins so usually on the bikes you would find it either somewhere uh, you know this one might have the exhaust in the way but it'll be in the front or under here around somewhere where the air gets to it on this bike they put it under the tank kind of strange the last bike I want to demonstrate this on again it's a VTX 1300 so um, again a left side if you don't know you know where it is you need to pull that cover off follow the wire on this bike I happen to know again that it's under the seat as a, as a right here is this plug see these three uh, yellow wires same thing unplug it check it the regulator is also located down here you can see it on the bottom so like I said they usually put it somewhere where air can get to it and cool it down because they get very hot all right guys so I hope this was helpful if your bike is not charging it should not be very difficult for you now to figure out what's going on please do not buy the aftermarket Chinese you know parts it's terrible I gotta make a video on this I, don't, I got so many horror stories people don't know I get it you know we all want to save money but if this stator costs two hundred dollars or two hundred fifty dollars from dealer and they selling them online for 30 bucks brand new it's gonna burn up and it's gonna fry a wiring harness so it's gonna do something bad so if you are on a budget you broke you need to get your bike back on the road and you don't have you know two hundred fifty dollars or whatever to get a stator get a used original one but you know something on ebay that's gonna be uh, if it's used it's guaranteed make sure they say that it's good working condition and a uh, new gasket, you good to go. Same with the regulators. Don't get the aftermarket stuff. It's garbage. It's going to last you a few days and it's going to make a damage uh, to your bike that it's not worth it. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.